one of the hottest faces on our TV screens. And when it comes to fashion, she never puts a foot wrong. Yeah, we can only be talking about the gorgeous Michelle Keegan. And today we're at a very posh hotel in London, celebrating her summer collection for Lipsy London. So I'm here with the gorgeous Michelle Keegan on a very exciting day for yourself. How are you feeling? Very excited. Um, obviously, I've been working a long time on this collection, so it's my first spring and summer collection, so I'm very excited. And first of all, can I say how proud are you that your debut collection with Ipsy did so well? Honestly, I can't believe it and I keep pinching myself. It's like when you see someone wearing your collections which you saw from scratch and then you're just walking down the street and you see people, it's unbelievable. I feel very, very lucky. And when you started this journey, did you ever think in a million years it would do so well? And you know, your fans are absolutely loving it. I, honestly, I had no idea. And I, I never get bored of seeing people wear it and tweet it when people tweet me them. I never get bored of seeing that. I love it. And let's talk about your new collection, your summer collection. Now, can you kind of give us a taste of what it what it's like? You know, for your fans obviously haven't seen the pieces yet. Yeah. Can I kind of sum it up? Like, okay. What it's like? Well, there's two drops. The first drop is more of a night look. So that's where the dresses and the two pieces, sort of like the um, sort of smarter collection is. And then we have a holiday drop, which is like the caftans, the throwovers, the two pieces, again, the shorts and the top. Um, I'd say the first uh, drop is more the formal, with like the like the block dresses that I I always have in the collection, like the LBD, um, very classic bold colours, and then in the holiday drop is like a bit of a more fun, a bit more festival feel to it, a bit more like floral prints. And for you, I mean, I can imagine you absolutely adore each piece, but can you talk us through some of your favourite pieces in the collection? Uh, yeah, my favourite pieces um, would have to be, from the first drop, we've got duster coats. And I say that just because they're so easy to throw on. Like, I've worn mine today with the day look, um, just really casual with flat boots, and then also with this two-piece outfit where I wear with heels. So you can dress it up or dress it down. Um, I think in the holiday collection, there's a really cute twin set, which is like a short and like a vest top. Um, and with that, it's got like really bright pink bubbles on, like pom-poms. And I think they're really sweet. I think you could wear them to, in the day with a pair of sandals or on the beach over a bikini. Really versatile. And like you said, you've got like a few L LBDs in there. For yes. a girl, we all need an LBD. Yes, they are the do. lifesaver. I always go back to my LBDs. Yeah. I love them. And how important do you think they are to you know that everyday girls have their perfect LBD it's, in their wardrobe? And it's one of those, the LBDs are one of them that they're a fail safe. So if you have nothing to wear, you think, oh, I'll just wear that dress. And you can, again, you can, different accessories, different makeup, and it looks a completely different outfit. So I've got like LBDs that I wore f five years ago, and I still wear them now. So they're definitely a safe option. And there's a few of them in this collection as well. Amazing. And then when you started on the drawing board for this collection, what was kind of like your inspiration? Like, was there anything particular, any looks um, on the catwalk, anything that really inspired you? I really like high necks. And I think that was really big on the catwalk at the minute. And especially the sort of the 90s feel with the arms cut out. So we've gone for a bit of them. We've also got um, a graphic print, which is like a lace, but a bit more bold than a lace. Um, and we've got them in dresses, especially the silhouette dresses, where we stuck to one colour, but we've also put a bit of detail around the side of the dresses, so it makes uh, like a woman, obviously a figure more womanly. Um, and also with the holiday drop, we've gone again for a bit more florals, a bit more Aztec prints, and a bit more graphics. I've seen some celebrities wearing, you know, from your debut collection, must be the best feeling. Oh, it's but, the best feeling. But for you, is there any um, any celebrities out there that you know really are kind of like your fashion inspirations? Anyone you really look up to? Uh, I would say Victoria Beckham, just because obviously she's like the fashion queen, and no matter what she wears, it looks unbelievable. Um, and I also really like Jessica Alba style. I think she's got a really simple but feminine style. And I think even in the day when she wears a pair of jeans and trainers, but when she wears it with a hat, I think she can make anything look really cool. And I can actually see some of your outfits on someone like Kim Kardashian, you know, they're really figure-hugging. Yeah, Would yeah. she be kind of like one of those celebrities up there you'd really like to dress? Oh my God, that'd be amazing. This is very Kim Kardashian. It is, that's what I thought. I was like, yeah. she would rock that. And I think at the minute, two pieces are massive, and I think any, any age woman can wear them. Um, and I just think they're really fashion forward as well. And like you say, Kim Kardashian's a massive fan, so obviously, yeah. And, you know, the summer is approaching. Now, you go on lots of lovely holidays. What are, like, your top five essentials that are in your suitcase when you're going on a summer holiday? Um, a really well-fitted bikini, um, a gorgeous caftan, 
that will go over the bikini and you feel comfortable in, but it's a bit stylish. Real nice pair of flat stands like sandals, which will go with anything, whether it's a dress or a pair of shorts. A nice pair of strappy heels, again, dress and outfit up. And mm, I would say a really cute LBD. Yeah. Always got to have one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now, we've all made fashion mistakes in the past. And, you know, yes. I mean, I look back at some of my old photos in the summer. I'm like, why did I wear that bikini? Why did I wear that? What would you say is like the biggest fashion mistake a girl can make in the summer when you're on the beach? Is there anything you'd be like, no, 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 that's a big no no? I think it's ill fitting bikinis. I think that's nothing worse than the beach and you see that. Whether they're too small or the pants are too floppy and you can see everything. So, probably that. Um, uh, that's it really, I think, on the beach. Just make sure you've got a really nice bikini. Yeah, it's a really nice bikini. It's something that you feel comfortable in as well. There's nothing worse than going on the on the, like on a beach or a bikini sorry. A beach or a pool and walking around and not feel comfortable. I think you can tell a mile off when a girl don't feel comfortable in what she's wearing. So I think always wear something you feel comfortable in. Now you always look incredible in a bikini, you know. Everyone's it's all over Twitter whenever your pictures come out, like Michelle looks amazing. How do you get that body for the summer? What are like your top tips you give to your fans who want to um, look and feel confident in yeah, a bikini on the beach? I always say I never believe in diets. I don't believe in juicing. I don't believe in no carbs or anything like that. I just think everything in moderation. So if I have a bad week one week, I'll try and be good the next week. So if I have a really unhealthy breakfast, I'll try and have a really healthy tea. And that's it, really. And drink lots of water. And you do all of that exercise. What kind of like your exercise regime? Because you're a very busy girl. Um, and yeah, it's be fair, hard to fit it all in. It is hard to fit it in, and I, but I don't punish myself with it. So if I can't go to the gym one day, I'll try and go the next. That's what that's what it is. Um, I think people try and beat themselves up because I've been to the gym like once a week. And it's not. If you can't go, you can't go. But if I do go, I normally do like weight resistant training. So I do a lot of like squats, but with weights, lunges, and one day I'll do arms and abs, and the next day I'll do like legs and abs. And it pays off, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now you have millions of fans across the country. How important have they been on this journey? Especially, you know, when you started uh, your collection with Lipsy, how amazing have they been along your journey? Have they been really supportive? They've been just... so supportive. They're, honestly, they're amazing. And it's, they're always so loyal as well, bless them. And I think that, I think with the girls as well, they, they love the fact that I've done Lipsy and they love the collection. And I've sort of tried to do the collection where any age group can wear. So the 17 year old girls who like support what I've done, they will love them, but the mums can love them as well. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the range where any any age group can wear the collection. So yeah, they've they've helped a lot. They've helped a lot. And I love all the pictures, so keep them coming. Yeah, I've seen on Instagram, it's like, you know, I wore uh, one of Michelle's dresses for my yeah. palm and things like that. Yeah, it's That must amazing. be such a great feeling. It's the best, it's the best feeling. Like, I've I've been away and seen girls wearing the dresses, or I've seen I've been in a restaurant and three girls walked in wearing my dresses. It's the best feeling ever. And even like we see the young girls wearing them as well, and even like they've got the favourite coat, and you see them wearing the coat time and time again. I think that's when it means more when they've saved the, like the money up and they've bought like they've invested in sort of what you've done. Um, yeah, it does. It means a lot. And obviously you're on the limelight. You know, you're a very famous face. How, are you very aware of how you are a massive inspiration to loads of young young girls? Is that just a really nice thing? It's a really nice feeling, but I, I always forget. I always seem to forget um, until someone says something. Um, but I always say like to girls who ask me like questions about, you know, how do we, so a lot of girls write to me, especially DMs and say I'm having a bit of bad time or something. I always say to them, listen, as long as you like stay positive in yourself, that's it. And no matter if you feel comfortable within yourself, that's all that matters as well. I think there's a lot of pressure out there at the minute, for, especially for young girls. And you're a northern lass, but now you're living in Essex. How yes. would you say your fashion sense has changed since you've moved to Essex? I don't think it has changed. That's the thing. I think I still go out in my scruffs and no makeup and my greasy hair on my head. And to be fair, I don't think that will ever change. Um, don't get me wrong, Essex girls look great in the day and they are um, glamorous. But I think any girl likes to get dressed up at night. And I think that's where we're similar, northern girls and southern girls. I think any girl likes to feel glamorous in the night. And how are you enjoying living in Essex? Are you enjoying that the life is a bit different? I can imagine you're missing your family and stuff. Yeah, but... I do miss, but luckily, obviously, because I was filming Ordinary Lies, I was constantly back up north anyway, because that's where it was filmed. So I was literally back and forward all the time. And my mum and dad come down a lot. So, um, and obviously, Mark family's there as well, and I'm really close to them. So it's, it's really, I really enjoy it.
And this is all very exciting, but what's next for you? What have we got in the pipeline? Obviously, Ordinary Lies, that's coming soon. That's, that's exciting. coming out in mid-March. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, I have just signed with a beauty, um, beauty, I can't say too much. Oh, okay. There's something right. really exciting about that. Um, also, as well, I've just I've obviously been having auditions, and I just found out today that I've been offered a role. I can't say, again, I can't say what it is, but fingers crossed that'll work out. So. I'm just really excited for 2015. And have you found that wedding dress yet? No, yes. Yeah, I have, yeah. Yes, amazing, <laughs> brilliant. Well, thank you, Michelle. Thanks for chatting to us. Thank and you very much. I can't wait to see the collection. Thank you. Thank you, babe.